This week we are going to talk about online backup and my favorite online backup application, Mosey. Mosey works very well for home and business users. I'm going to introduce you today to the free version of Mosey so that you can get used to it, but they have a very affordable unlimited option as well. So go to mosey.com, mozy.com. When you're there, click Mosey Home. The first thing you'll see on the Mosey Home portion of the website is their unlimited online backup for $4.95 a month. And if you want to go for it right away, feel free to do that. But they do have an option where you can scroll down on the left and sign up for what's called Mosey Home Free. And if you click the Sign Up button here, once you click up the Sign Up now, you'll be presented with the Mosey Home Free registration. All it requires is an email address, pick a password, make sure it's a nice secure password and you write it down because this is your backup, answer the CAPTCHA, and click continue. After you click continue, Mosey will send you an email to verify that you are indeed a human being. The email you get will look something like this. It will say, welcome to Mosey, click here on this link to activate your Mosey account. Once you click the verification link in the Mosey email, you'll be transported back to the Mosey website where you will then download, and I recommend downloading to your desktop, the Mosey installation file. The Mosey installation file will look something like this, and you'll double click on it. We're doing this in Windows, but if you're a Mac user, they do have a Mac version for Mosey backup as well, and you can see that on their website at mosey.com. So the, the setup for Mosey is very typical get the welcome screen, you click next, you agree to their license after you read every single word, click next, it's going to tell you where it's installing it, click next, click next again, and then finally you click install. After the installation finishes, Mosey takes a quick look at your computer to see what types of documents you have and what types of things you might want to back up, and then it presents you with this type of a screen here and says, do you want to back up your email and contacts, is there any financial data, whether you're using Firefox or Internet Explorer, you can choose which one of these things you want to back up, which ones you don't, just by checking or unchecking the box next to them. Now keep in mind, if you're using the free version of the Mosey, you only have two gigabytes of space, so you probably will not want to back up photos, you will not want to back up music or any videos on your system. So I'm using the free one as this demonstration, and I've picked mostly just my word processing documents and my spreadsheets, email, contacts, and those kinds of things because those are small and easy to back up. Now you'll notice in the selection on the left, the gray box with the black check mark means that it's not getting all 20 gigabytes of information in that folder. It's only getting selected files. So if you click on that, on the right hand side you can scroll down here and you can see that some things have a check box and some don't. Now if you see a box that has a checkbox with a white background, that means it's getting everything in that category or in that folder. So then you just click Next or Save and it backs up your information. By default, Mosey backs up your information once every day and it looks for downtime on your computer. So if you go to lunch for an hour, an hour and a half, it detects that you're not using your computer, it kicks into gear and backs up your data. Now if you want to have a little bit more control over Mosey, if you want to have a little bit more control over Mosey, simply double click on the Mosey icon, which looks like this little orange and gray thing here. When you double click the Mosey icon, you will get this particular screen here that shows you when the last time your data was backed up. And then you can click configure to make more changes to the Mosey interface. The first screen that you'll see is the backup set, what they qualify as the backup set. It shows you how much of your quota you're currently using and what's being backed up. If you click the file system tab, that gives you more of an explorer type window that shows you exactly what's being backed up. And then you can add and subtract using the file system window as well, which is a little bit easier and more detailed than the backup set. Under the schedule, you can actually set it for the automatic schedule, which is the default. Or if you prefer and you want it to happen at a specific time every day, you can choose a scheduled backup. Then we go here to the options. Under the options, you can make even more changes based on how much bandwidth, how much speed of your internet you want it to take up, and then some other detailed options regarding the backup here on the left. In the history tab, you will get a list of all of the things that it's backed up. 
and when it backed it up. And then under the restore, should you ever need it, they have the restore tab where you can tell it which items you want to restore. Very, very straightforward. Mosey.com, I think, offers a great option for online backup. So hopefully this tutorial will get you going and at least give you a shot at trying it. Because backing up is something we all need to do to avoid a potential digital disaster.